Hi YouTube family. This is Miss Peaches 06 coming at you today with another video. Um, before I get started, I don't know how good y'all can see my hair. I know I made a video the other day, six months natural, sort of. Um, I have kind of the same hairstyle going on right now, but I just changed the front up a little bit. So in that video, I had some flat twists in the front, and now I just have like um, little rolls. You know, where you just roll and tuck your hair back. That's what I have going on in the front right now. Okay, and then I just have the back loose. So, I, I um, do the flat twist over at nighttime with some Shea Moisture um, Curl Enhancing Smoothing. And then when I take it out in the morning, I put a little coconut oil on it. So, I retwist it like every other night. Um, so I'm probably going to wash this out soon. So get, it's been about a week since I've been wearing my hair like this. But um just wanted to give y'all a little update on that. Um, but what I actually came to make this video about is not about hair. As you can see from the title, I'm not my hair. That's not the only thing that I have going on in my life. Um, I have other interests and things like that that I do enjoy. So I just wanted to bring y'all this video um, to show y'all a few projects that I've been working on for the spring. As you guys know, I've been um, looking for a house, and that is a long process, a long, tedious process. Unless you want to just compromise and just buy whatever, then sometimes that can be a long process, especially when you're trying to get a good deal and you're trying to get something that's a good size and has the things that you want. So, anyway. While I've been looking for a house, I've been kind of trying to make myself be more patient because I don't want to rush into anything and buy something that's going to make me regret it because it's a big, huge pur purchase, as you guys know. So, I'm trying to kind of try, I'm kind of trying to make myself more complacent with where I'm at. I live in an apartment right now. So, I came up with two little projects. Well, there's actually more than two projects involved in this, but there really were two big projects and um, I wanted to redecorate my patio make it look a little bit more homey because the inside of my house already the inside of my apartment already looks homey um, so what I did was I um, my dad gave me some old wicker patio furniture um, and it I don't even I couldn't even tell you how old it is but it's pretty old but it's in good shape it was like that light pine wood color, you know, that nobody really uses anymore. When you see stuff that color, you think, it, that's kind of old. It's that color. And it's shaped, it was shaped funny. This chair was a circle and the bench was like an oval. So I couldn't find any, and it didn't come with any cushions. So I couldn't find any cushions that were the right shape that I felt were a reasonable price considering the fact that I got the furniture for free. I wasn't going to pay $100 for some cushions. That just didn't make sense. So anyway, I made my own, you guys. <laughs> I bought myself a sewing machine. Um, I bought a Brothers XL1325, I think. I'll put it on, on. I'll put the correct name of it on the video, or in the description box below. But I bought that, and it was very easy to use. It came with a video that showed me how to use it. And actually, growing up, my aunt sewed a lot. She used to sew pajamas and pillows, and we used to do little projects like that together. So I was already, um, I had already been around sewing. I already kind of knew the concept just from watching her. So it wasn't that hard for me to get the gist of things. All I had to do was just measure, you know, measure things, cut the material out. So together, it wasn't really hard. Um, and actually, I found some outdoor material on sale for 50% off. So it ended up being pretty cheap. Um, and I'll include a picture um, of what that patio furniture looks like right here. Okay, so what I did was I um, took that furniture. As you can see, it's not that pine color anymore. I took it and I spray painted it a a brown color like a shiny satin brown and that really updated it and then I built those cushions that you sit in sit on um, and that material is actually a striped material and then I sew the um, pillows to go on the back of it so I'm actually gonna make one more pillow for the bench 
I'm going to put that small pillow that I have in the middle on the side. I'm going to put the two bigger pillows in the middle and I'm going to sew another small pillow to go on the other side. So it'll actually end up having four um, pillows all together. But it turned out really nice. I really like how pretty it is. Um, and then I was like, I want a garden. But you know in an apartment you can't really plant anything in the ground. So I got my fiance to build me a planter box. Actually, I wanted to hang it over the rail, you know, like a window box kind of, but the apartment complex said no. So, what can you do? So, I got him to put some legs on it so it can sit up a little high off the ground so I can easily access it. And um, I'll include a picture of that right here. Okay, so the materials for that might have been like $25, you know. Um, it's like four foot long. I think it's about eight to ten inches wide and I think like eight to ten inches tall. So I have a lot of flowers in there and it's really pretty. They're really thriving and they're growing. Of course, I had, we had to drill holes through the bottom of it for the water to drain out. Um, and we had some extra wood left over. So what I got him to do was cut one inch strips out of that extra wood and we put it on the front. Well, he, I'm saying we like I... I, I didn't really build it, but I supervised. <laughs> but he put those boxes on the front. I know that there's a name for that decorate, that decorative touch, but I can't think of what the name of it is. But we just did that for to make it look pretty. So um, I also have, um, since then, I kind of got more inspiration. So I went and bought some pots and some plant stands. Um, bargain price from Ross and from TJ Maxx. Um, and I planted some tomatoes, some bell peppers out there in a big pot and then I got two uh, smaller pots that matched that I have some more flowers in. So I really like pulling up and looking at that. It just makes me feel like this place is a little bit more homey. Kind of makes me feel like I don't have to rush to try to find a house. You know what I mean? So I really enjoy doing it. And if y'all want me to do a video more in depth on how I did either one of those projects, just let me know or if you guys want me to give you some more some more ideas on how to maybe decorate your patio or or um to decorate your house. I like decorating period. <laughs> so if you guys want me to do more videos like that, let me know. And I hope y'all enjoy this video. And here's some some pictures of my entire patio together, including, you know, I have the box, the patio furniture, I have a fern out there and some more flowers. So just to give y'all a, a full picture of how pretty it looks out there. Okay. Alright y'all. Have a good night. Bye.